Hello and a very good day. I would like to wish to everyone and to our instru instructor, Dr. Wan Farah Wani Wan Fakhruddin. So here we are from Section 90 and we are called the group Campro Boys. So me and my group members, we are here to present the topic called uh, Online Group Study is the Most Effective Method uh, for University Students in Today's Era. So before we start our presentation, I would like to introduce my, our group members, which uh, starting with myself, Vishal Ridev Analaki Panisami. Secondly, uh, Muhammad Shafiq Ayman bin Saipuddin and lastly, Hanif Daniel bin ha Hafizan. So in today's era, many university students have shifted their study groups to online platforms in the midst of coronavirus outbreak. There are many reasons university students should practice online group study. Studying in groups are, among, are common among university students when, when it comes to preparing for exams or simply reviewing course material. In more informal study groups, students take the initiative to organize these meetings with at least a few classmates or maybe with many members. Some universities coordinate more formal stu study group opportunities where students regularly participate in sessions organized by universities, often with uh, facilitators leading the discussion. Online group study can help university students to save more time, study more efficiently and gain team experience. However, online study can easily distract students from focus on the study and there is some students too introvert to study in group. So this presentation uh, discusses advantages and also disadvantages of online group study. So from, uh, from here I will pass over to Hanif. Daniel and he'll be explaining the advantages of online group study. Thank you. Yeah, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. So I am Hanif Daniel and I will explain for the argument part. Okay, so let's see for this slide. Actually, what are the benefits by studying in online group? The first benefit is study with the student. The students can study more efficiently because it is free and comfortable educational environment which offered by the online platform. As we all know, by saying it online, the venue is not restricted, so the student can learn from any location that is provided as they can access it, as they can access it online. Okay, so for the next part, which is saving time, save time. So time is the most valuable asset in our world. Okay, as it is the most valuable thing, we should not misuse it in any manner. So, for the first point, which is learn rapidly by exploring the internet. Okay, they are, they are automated to searching for the information, which is by searching the information in books, okay, uh, in the magazines or any other, or any other sources other than the internet. I will not say that it is the wrong method, but if we use the internet properly to search for the information, we can save more time and we can do any other things. Okay, next, uh, we also may be able to take part-time job. Okay, as a human being, we all are not the same. Okay, there are people who have uh, financial problems, who have family problems, the students who want to who want to take care of their mother, to take care of their financial, financial family problems. So, if we, uh, if we applying this studying in online groups, we have more time. We have plenty of time to do the other things. So, the students who have their financial problems, they can take part-time job. Also, uh, okay. Also, the student can minimizing the amount of time required for solitary study time through collaborative group activities. Focus on not taking particular exam preparation and shared resources. So, for the next slide. Uh, Experience good communication skills. By studying in online groups, the student also can can obtain communic communication skills. 
Okay, uh, this way students can develop characteristics such as their personality as a result of their interaction with the other student. Other than that, online group study also can improve a student's interpersonal skills as they as they are able to overcome their shyness and discuss their thoughts with others which helps them to thrive in their academic pursuits in both students personal life and students uh, personal interpersonal, interpersonal skills interpersonal skills are essential for communicating and working with groups and individuals People with high interpersonal skills are more likely to form positive relationship and collaborate effectively. Other than, other than having good communication skills, students will have a strong cooperative attitude. Okay, actually, what, what is the meaning of cooperation? Cooperation is the act of taking part with, uh, contributing to or assisting in the advancement or completion of a goal. Cooperative attitudes aids in student achievement. The development of strong relationships among students is essential for forming a learning community that embraces variety and the provision of opportunities that promote both good learning and social skills. Every student in a group is responsible for accomplishing their fair part of the work. As we, uh, although there are some group work that can be done independently. Okay, for me, it is not an excuse for us to not complete the work collabor collaboratively with group members providing feedback, challenging one another's conclusion and reasoning, and perhaps most importantly, teaching and encouraging one another. Okay, lastly, the developing and practicing skills. What are the examples of these skills? Okay. The example of these skills are trust, leadership, decision making, communication, and dispute resolution. For example, it is critical for students to have leadership chances throughout their education so that they can acquire the art of forming bonds within teams, identifying identities, and effectively completing tasks. Uh, in summary, students can develop teamwork, the teamwork qualities by online group study. So that's all for my part. Thank you. Online study not only can benefit us, unfortunately, online study may have some disadvantage also. To start with, some university students are too introvert to study in online group. If a stu university student with introvert personality face a hard time to be socialized and get in, involved in a group study. Introvert need a lot of us personal spaces. They like being in a room alone with a door closed because they are comfortable in their own way. They will try to avoid as much as possible when circumstances arise for them to involve in a group project. This is because the different personalities in students, the impact of students Difference on personal space is unthinkable. Personality difference and personality disorder are examples of student personalities. Moreover, university students can get easily distracted when having online group study. University students tend to get distracted when using gadget and social media during their group study session. Student and gadget are an inseparable bond. Students tend to get lost in their world while using gadget, especially smartphone, because Nowadays, they are very much exposed to social media. A recent survey found the use of technology among university students, such as a laptop or phones, for a non-educational non non purpose was distracted to almost half of a student. While other surveys believe, believe the usage of technology among students is unavoidable. Students often get addicted while using gadget to the extreme that they even lost count of time. They spend an agreeable amount of time on smartphone. Con 
concurrent use of smartphone or gadget during conversation or the social environment such as group study will affect students to pay their concentration on studies as the mind will be diverted to entertainment. We not only affect the student who is using the smartphone instead, spoil the mood of the entire student of the online study group to focus and learn, subsequently causing them to waste their precious time. To add on, personality difference such as introvert student and personality disorder like students suffering from anxiety are not confident and comfortable enough to involve in a group study. When presented with the opportunity to, keep, to take part in a group study, introverts prefer to hang back. The reason for this is that they are so used to study on their own and their own pace. Not all students are at the same. Not all students are the same. And some students tend to learn to absorb new things quickly and some may not. Studying in online group might cause us difficulty in this issue because students that are slow learners will be left out and they will feel off the right track. They will also refrain from asking the other students to clarify the doubt and hold it back. This will eventually lead to ineffective learning. Even though much has been said about the disadvantage of online study group, it all depends on the student itself. Firstly, as a university student, one should make full effort to come out of their shell and try to explore things out of their own comfort zone. Secondly, the phase of the study in universities is the time students tend to build and improve their personalities and characteristics. This is an opportunity for them to develop their personalities and be a person with quality characteristics. This will enable them to be more adaptable in their working environment later, later on. Therefore, students who are introverts will be able to improve their characteristics when involved in study group method with their circle of friends. They will subsequently enable them to comfortable working in team in the future. Because of this, online group study is actually a stepping stone in the path to improve students' personalities. Since students get to study with their own set of friends, they can learn, they can clean their doubts without any hesitation because friends will help one another without any judgment. In fact, distraction from technology are faced by many students, but this distraction can also be caused by any student methods. Regardless of whether students study individually or in a group. They will be distracted when they use gadget, especially smartphone. Truly, this is not about the study method, but it is about the attitude of the individual to focus on their studies or being addicted to using gadget. Gadget and technology both are many, have many advantages and disadvantages. The student should have the mindset to fully focus and involve in group study and avoid any kind of distraction. University students are mature enough to decide what is good and bad and to be aware of the determinal consequences of an action. Therefore, students need to have the right therefore student need to have the right mindset to focus during online group study and use gadget during their free time only. So finally, we can conclude that the students who study with others may feel more connected to their classmates. This is especially useful for remote learning. Students who want to form a small study group can do so by using a video conference app of their preference, such as uh, Zoom, Skype and Hangouts are all excellent choices because they are all free to use. Evidently, online study group offers students incentives and accounta accountability to study since they feel dedicated to the, others, to the others in their group. Studying in group allows students to have a better knowledge of content by discussing 
and engaging in topics that go beyond what can be presented in lectures or readings. In addition, online study groups provide a com comfortable environment for students to ask questions, especially if they have a poor internet connection during the class time. Online study groups might help students feel accountable if we, were, if we are easily distracted. It may be tough to study on our own. Studying in group may help us retain our attention. Through this, it not always be pr pr practic practicable. As a result, many students are switching to online study groups to get their work done. Hence, online group study should be adopted for effective learning among university students in today's era. So that's all from us. Thank you very much.